Yeah, if you want to start again, just kind of talking about the shift. Okay. At some point, Mother's Day sort of shifted from a happy experience to a painful one. Growing up, um, we always went to my grandmother's house to pick roses on Mother's Day. And um, I just thought it was so much fun to go see my grandmother that day and also to pick flowers in her garden a few years ago when we started um, trying to have kids. Uh, we just didn't realize we were going to be walking through infertility for so long, and it was, it was hard and painful. I went to Mother's Day lunch after church with my mom and my sisters and their kids, and the waitress comes up and she said, hey, we're giving away free desserts to all the mothers. And in that moment, I think it was the first time I felt forgotten and left out. And that was the first time I realized, like, okay, I don't know if I can do Mother's Day every year. That same sort of feeling would come up every time I saw a birth announcement or a pregnancy announcement. First, I was angry at God. First, I was really reached a resentment, and it started turning into bitterness. I remember feeling that for a little while. Like, Lord, I know you're trying to teach me something, but I'm not going to ask you for patience because... I've had plenty of patience, and I want this now. Then it started to kind of shift when I realized, well, you're focusing all your attention on yourself. Like, the more that you look inward at what's wrong, how you feel, the less you're seeing God. So at a certain point, I started to realize, no, you need to look at God, and you need to, like, see His characteristics that are good, and He is holy and he is steadfast and he loves you and you're not forgotten even though it feels like you are. I realized that I was kind of at a place where I was okay with whatever God had for us, whether that be us not being parents or if adoption would come later. But I remember feeling at peace with whatever happened, like very at peace. call that he was waiting for us in Florida. Um, if, well, you're Florida, right? So, do I, okay, what do we do, what do we do next? Should we fly out or just drive out tonight? Oh my God. We have everything. Oh my gosh. gosh. I'm like shaking. This is, oh my God. Is that my So we just, we're just blessed with this amazing little boy. Watching him grow, it's something I would have never dreamed of, even in wanting children. It's incredible. It never turned off the desire to understand what God was doing in our infertility. In my times of need, where I am just broken, I'll just know and remember that God is good. I really do feel like the Lord pursued me through all the suffering and through just needing to have empty hands so that I could find my satisfaction in Him.